Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you a relatively new feature called DLQ Message Redrive. And what this feature allows you to do is to move messages that are currently located in your DLQ or your dead letter queue back into your main queue. And of course we are talking about SQS here. Uh, and this is a very common scenario. Often you'll have messages that are uh, being processed from your main queue. And after a couple of attempts, maybe there's a failure, a failure with a dependency or a service that you're trying to call, those messages will end up being inside of your DLQ. So you can see here I have five messages in here. So previously in the past, this was really frustrating to move your messages between two different queues. There were some hacks to make this work or you could write scripts to make this happen as well. Uh, but thankfully, AWS has made this a lot easier recently with this new feature called DLQ um, message redrives. So it's very, very simple to set up and use. So let me walk you through the steps here. So as you can see, I have a main queue and a DLQ here. Now, in order for this to work, your main queue needs to have configured the DLQ against it. So let me show you what that looks like. If we just click on our main queue here and we go to our dead letter queue, you can see I currently have that main queue dash DLQ currently configured. And if you don't know what DLQs are, I have another video on that. I'll put that down in the description section below. But anyways, this method won't work unless you have the DLQ currently enabled against your main queue because it needs to know kind of where to send the messages back to. So once you get that set up, it's a pretty straightforward process to redrive messages back into this queue. You can see in the top right here, we have a grayed out button, start DLQ redrive. And that's because we're not in the DLQ right now. So we need to go back into our queues or you can just press your back button. Uh, so I'm gonna go into my DLQ now. And now you can see up here, we have the start DLQ redrive button that's currently enabled. So I'm gonna click this. All right, so here is the wizard for the dead letter Q redrive. You can see there's a couple settings that we need to specify here before we can actually submit the task. Uh, so the first option here is whether or not we want to redrive to our source queue or you want to redrive to a custom destination. Now, if you do custom destination, you can send the messages that are in this queue to any other queue that you specify. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can click on this button here and then it's going to ask you for the queue's ARN. So you can pick whatever you want here. This was the main queue, which is the source of uh, this DLQ. So you can specify that one or you can select this option here to redrive it back to the source queue. To be honest, I find that this option is a little bit flaky. Often you'll get some really weird errors. It almost seems like it's a little bit unpredictable when you use this method. So I like to do just redrive to a custom destination and put in whatever you want. It seems to be more reliable for me. Um, now there's another option as well for the velocity of the transfer. Um, and this just has to do with the speed in which messages get pulled from your DLQ and put into your main queue. So you can use system optimized here, which will, means that SQS is going to decide how fast it moves messages from one queue to another. And the other option here is custom max velocity. So if you want to set a maximum in terms of the number of messages per second that you want to send, you can specify a number here. Now, why would you do this? Well, maybe if you have a queue where you only want to process a couple of messages per second because maybe you'll um, kind of brown out a database or you have a dependency that's really slow, so you don't want to process too much. In that case, you would use this setting and maybe put this to like three TPS or something like that. But for our case, um, we're just going to rely on the SQL service to figure that out for us. We're going to leave it as system optimized. Now, another thing that you can do is you can inspect the messages here. So you can pull for the messages and that'll give you kind of a, a view into the messages that are in the DLQ. You don't really need to do that, but if you want to kind of test this out and see what messages are there before you start the redrive, you can definitely do that. Okay, so in order to move on and start the task, you just go to the bottom right here and click on DLQ Redrive, and this is going to start that DLQ Redrive task. Um, so currently, I'm in the DLQ right now, and there is a new tab here that you can see, Dead Letter Q Redrive Tasks. And this is telling us, currently we're in progress, we're at 0%, um, and if you click on Refresh here, you can see this was relatively quick just because it was only a few messages that got transferred, and we have successfully completed the transfer. So if we go back into our main queue now, and if we look over here, you can see that, yep, yeah, those messages are now back in the main queue instead of the DLQ. So this is a pretty convenient feature, makes things a whole lot easier. It's in the AWS console, easy to use and understand. I uh, hope this video was helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.